Hey there, true believers. Welcome to Mike Meeple's Painting Poorly Miniature Painting Tutorials. Today, we're continuing my series of beginner painting tutorials for Atomic Mass Games' Marvel Crisis Protocol by taking a look at how to paint the biggest bad of the Marvel Universe, Thanos. Thanos comes with a few options for customization, including multiple faces and a left hand with and without all six Infinity Gems. I've decided to use the smiling face and full Infinity Gauntlet, though the techniques I'm displaying can easily be adapted for whichever loadout you choose. Now, I haven't actually glued the head to the model yet, as there are some tight angles to paint on his neck and the side of his head. So instead, I'll be sticking the head on with some sticky putty before I prime the model. I'm using a Zenithal Prime to highlight the miniature using Steinal Res Primer and my airbrush. First, you'll start off with a black undercoat of the whole model. Then you apply a gray undercoat from a 45 degree angle above the model to accentuate some of the shadows and highlights. before giving a spray of white from directly above to pop the brightest highlights of the model. Of course, you can always just prime it black or white or gray, but the Zenithal helps give you an idea of where to place all of the highlights. Once that's dry, you can remove the head and stick it to the end of a pen or a pencil so you can paint the head and body separately before you glue them together. So just as a reminder, don't forget to thin all of your paints with equal parts water, unless I tell you otherwise. And we're going to start off using Prussian Blue by Vallejo to paint Thanos' suit. This includes the skull cap for the head. Next, we'll be taking some Blue Violet by Vallejo to paint his face. After that, we're going to use Gold by Vallejo straight out of the bottle to paint all the metallic portions. Gold can sometimes go on a bit unevenly, so don't be afraid to apply a second coat of paint. Just make sure the first coat is completely dry first. For the head, you'll paint the crown above his eyes, the strip running along the top of his head, and the two circles over each ear. When you're finished with that, take some white by Vallejo and your smallest brush and paint his teeth.
Just a thin line across the front is all you need, and if you get some white on his lips, don't be afraid to touch them up with your blue violet. Since your white is out, take the time to paint all of the infinity gems on the gauntlet itself. This will give us a nice white backdrop for them later. Once that's all dry, it's time for shades. We'll start with Light Tone by the Army Painter, and apply that to all the gold portions. On his head, we'll also apply a little to the teeth. When that's all dry, we'll be using Purple Tone by the Army Painter and applying that to the face. Be careful not to get any on the teeth, but if you do, you can soak it up with a dry brush. Finally, we'll be using Blue Tone by the Army Painter and applying that to his suit. Try to go body part by body part, as it not only lets you keep track of where you've applied the wash, but it also prevents the wash from looking splotchy, from it being moved around too much or drying at different times. When that's all dry, it's time for highlights and finishing touches. We're going to start by mixing together equal parts blue violet and rose brown by Vallejo and highlighting the face. You'll want to paint the tip of his nose, the smile folds, and his cheeks and his upper lip, avoiding the philtrum, you know, the center of the upper lip. Thanos has multiple ridges and a scar on his chin, so when we highlight it we want to paint each ridge while avoiding the grooves in the chin. Next we'll be using some rose brown all by itself and adding a secondary highlight to the face. Just paint a teeny tiny portion of each area you've already highlighted, specifically the center portion that sticks out the farthest, like the cheekbones themselves or the direct center of each ridge on his chin. Adding this color to the lower lip really helps it pop and draws focus to his face. Next, we'll be taking our Prussian blue and highlighting the blue suit. For the head, paint the top of the head on either side of the strip of gold running down the center, but also painting an edge highlight along the side where the coif meets the face. For the body, we'll be highlighting the muscles by painting almost all of each muscle, but avoiding the areas between the muscles, the sections that were darkened the most by the wash, along with the pattern of grooves along Thanos' chest, shoulders, back, and down the side of each leg.
Next, we'll be mixing together equal parts Prussian Blue and Blue Green by Vallejo and using that to add a second level of highlight. Just like we did with the face, you'll be painting a smaller portion of everything you've already highlighted. Normally, I usually stop with one or two levels of highlights, but for the Mad Titan, we'll be adding a third level by mixing equal parts Prussian Blue, Blue Green, and Sky Blue by Vallejo. Use this color sparingly. Only a small dot or line in the center of your previous highlight is all that's really needed. After that, use your white and your smallest brush to paint the eyes, and if you can, dot the front two teeth. Now we glue the head on with a little super glue. before we turn our attention to the Infinity Gems. I'll be using Vallejo's Fluorescent Paint Suite, starting with Fluorescent Yellow, then Fluorescent Orange, Fluorescent Magenta, Fluorescent Blue, mixing together Fluorescent Magenta and Fluorescent Blue, and Fluorescent Green. Once you paint each gem, you may want to go back and use those same colors to paint a small portion of the gauntlet surrounding each gem, to give it a bit of a glowing effect.
finish off each stone with a small dot of white to provide the illusion of a reflective surface. Now it's time to focus on the base and the throne. For the throne piece, I've actually used the same trick that I did with Thanos' head using Sticky Putty to hold the chair itself to the rocky platform base instead of gluing it for now. That way, I can more easily paint some of those hard to reach areas. Prime your throne with a Zenithal highlight, however, only apply the black base coat and the gray layer at the 45 degree angle, leaving out the blast of white from above. This will give you a nice gray to black gradient, which will already do a lot of the heavy lifting when it comes to getting that rocky look. We can mimic this on the base by using some neutral gray by Vallejo and giving it a nice even base coat. Next, take some sky gray by Vallejo and do a nice dry brush over all of the stone portions of the throne and the base. If you like, you can even do a second level of dry brush with white over the topmost portion of each stone on the throne base. Now, take some purple tone wash and apply it to all of the portions of the throne and base that will be metallic. If you're confused as to what parts those are, you can always refer to the box art, as it gives you a good idea. And when that's completely dry, take some Necron compound from Citadel and apply a dry brush along everything that you just washed with Purple Tone. This will preserve the purple color of those sections, but it will drastically mute it while simultaneously giving the sculpt a brushed metal look. You can apply as much Necron compound as you want to get the level of metallic that you prefer, and as you can see, I applied mine fairly liberally. Now we can glue the throne to the stone base, Paint out the rim of the base, or where the base goes. And then spray the figure and the throne with some matte spray before calling it a day. And that's it! Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. I want to give a big shout out to all of my patrons whose generous support helped me make quality content like this. If you're interested in becoming a patron yourself, information on how to do so can be found in the description for this video, along with links to all the supplies I used today, and a link to my blog, where you'll find more tutorials for games like Marvel Crisis Protocol. And, if you like this video, and would like to see more, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Excelsior!